What is up guys, this is Tech Enthusiast and I've been using the next major release of Windows 11 codename 22H2 for about a month now and here are my thoughts. And just to quickly mention, this is pre-release software, currently only available for insiders. However, Microsoft already confirmed that this version, so 22H2, is the next major Windows release. So with that said, here are some of my favorite new features included in this build. So Microsoft finally added back the revolutionary feature to drag and drop shortcuts into the taskbar which tremendously decreases the time of creating shortcuts in taskbar compared to previous Windows 11 releases at least. And seriously Microsoft, why did you remove this feature in the first place? So many of you are probably quite familiar with this feature, so to create a shortcut in the taskbar, first you will need a shortcut on your desktop and then you will simply just drag the desktop shortcut onto your taskbar and then you will drop it right here on the taskbar and here we have the simple Microsoft Edge shortcut. Windows 11 22H2 also introduces folders in Windows 11 start menu. So to create a folder, first you will need a pinned application and then you will just simply drag one application on top of the another one and this actually creates a folder. And then if you click on the folder, here you can even edit the names and this is basically it for the folders. So speaking of the start menu, the Windows 11 22H2 also introduces a brand new layout feature so if we go to the personalization scroll down a bit and here we will see the start menu section and here we have the layout option so here we have the default one and then we have the more pins which if we enable will have more pinned application on the start menu and then we also have the more recommendations options which will actually have more space for recommended items on the start menu. In this Windows 11 release we also have a brand new task manager so if I right click on the start menu go to the task manager we can clearly see that the dark mode is actually present on the task manager manager and this is basically new. We also have a vertical tabs on the left so the old task manager was actually on the top these tabs and here we have it on the left so here we have the processes, performance, app history, startup application, users and details and of course don't forget on the services. At the bottom we have the settings so basically all of the tabs are the same as of the old task manager but here we have different arrangements so the vertical tabs on the left. So in the task manager we also have a brand new mode called efficiency mode so if you want to you can also enable it for the specific um, application for example if one application uses too much of the CPU memory or uh, GPU let's say uh, resources you can simply enable this mode. So uh, this mode also isn't available for every single program so be uh, cautious for that. So for example uh, this program that I have highlighted if I right click on it we have the efficiency mode here button which we can enable and if I click on it we can clearly see that efficiency mode will lower process priority and improve power efficiency but may cause instability for certain processes. So maybe you will use this feature it's here and uh, yeah I think the Microsoft did the right decision with this update for the task manager so the dark mode and efficiency mode are looking quite good. And speaking of the UI changes, this build also introduces a brand new home icon in the file explorer. So you can clearly see it at the top left. This is the home icon and if you click it, it will redirect us to the quick access for the file explorer. And uh, this is not basically it. This build also introduces a folder previews in the file explorer. So basically here I have this wallpaper file which uh, I got from the Reddit I think and yes this is the same wallpaper that PewDiePie uses in his uh, latest setup video and I will also link it in video description down below. So if you want it make sure that you check the video description. And at this point of the video guys if you are enjoying the content so far make sure that you smash up the like button because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and if you are new here join this beautiful tech enthusiast community by subscribing make sure that the button actually turns gray so with that said to 
actually see a brand new folder preview we can clearly move this um, wallpaper into the folder and then if i um, just refresh the file explorer we can clearly see a preview um, of the folder so what it actually contains so if i click on it we can clearly see that there is a wallpaper and uh, hopefully in the future microsoft will also add tabs to the file explorer we can clearly see that in a few insider builds that this feature so the tabs are actually present in the builds and i think this is a quite nice addition from the mac os of course in the windows realm and the next ui change that i also quite like is the volume changing flyout so if i change the volume we can clearly see that this volume right now pops up at the bottom of the screen at the center and uh, we can clearly see on the right the level or the volume indication and at the left we have the speaker so if we click on the speaker we can clearly see that we can mute the uh, volume output and and the previews, this flyout was actually at the top left. So this one I quite like with its rounded corners. And uh, I think that the Microsoft did a quite great job with it. And uh, also shout out to the channel called Bob Hub for pointing out a really unique feature with this build. So the feature is that if you go to the bottom right of your screen in the task bar, and if you use your scroll wheel to change the volume, you can actually do it so you can clearly see that the volume right now is changing which is quite fascinating and what also got a ui overhaul is actually snap layout so snap layouts were introduced with windows 11 so if you hover on this uh, middle button uh, you can clearly see the snap layouts but uh, with this build microsoft actually elevated the experience with the dragging the window which you want to move and then if you move it to the top of the screen we can clearly see a brand new menu that allows you to snap this window to the specific uh, layout which i think it's quite a unique feature and uh, the next thing that also got a ui overhaul is uh, alt plus tab so we can clearly see this brand new uh, accent border around the opened uh, application and then we have this nice blur around it as well so i think this is pretty much it for the changes and right now let's go straight to the conclusion of this video should you upgrade to the windows 11 build 22 h2 as I said in the beginning of the video, I have been using this build for a month, but what I didn't tell you is that I'm using it on unsupported hardware. Yes, I do use TPM and Secure Boot enabled, however my CPU, which is i7-7700K from 2017, isn't officially supported. And to be honest, it runs quite well for my daily tasks at least. So using Premiere Pro for editing, Photoshop for thumbnails and OBS for recording, it runs quite smoothly. And in this month or so, I only had one blue screen of that. And that also was most likely because in my area where I live, there were many power outages. And so my computer probably freaked out and blue screened. Stability wise, I think this is the most stable Windows 11 release to date and I highly recommend updating. It doesn't matter if you are on Windows 10 or Windows 11, just be careful that your, for example, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth drivers are compatible with Windows 11. And with that said, this has been Tech Enthusiast video. If you haven't already, make sure that you drop a like because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you are new here, make sure that you click on subscribe button and join the enthusiast community it only takes one second and also if you feel fortunate enough you can also support me on coffee have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you in the next one peace